Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am in my Hobonichi Cousin in the Daily Spreads. And this week I will be using my Bloomin' Love stickers. So I've got the deco sheets, the circles, the swatches as well as the quote and washi so these are the stickers that i'm going to be using in my daily spreads so the first part of this video i'm going to show you how i decorate and then the second part of this video i'm going to show you how i journal every day of the week let's get started so let's go ahead and start decorating my spread the first thing i want to do is put down some of this grid washi along with the bloom and love washi as well i think the combination makes like a picket fence garden type of look and then i'm using my paint swatches and a little icon there to put today and that's where i'm going to put my to-do list and then on this page i'm putting down two circles with a little bit of deco as you can see i'm kind of trying to do the same thing on the two pages that are facing me so that there is that consistency so a little bit of washi a deco sticker and then the paint swatches with the word today so very simple and as long as I keep to this consistent layout or consistent pattern, it makes it really easy to decorate these daily pages. And I like to do them ahead of time. So then on this page, I take a piece of washi, a circle, and that deco, along with another paint swatch and the today sticker. You can see that there is a pattern here. And then on the 13th, do the same thing. And the only thing I'm really changing up is, you know, adding the swatch as well as the circle sticker and then a different deco sticker so that it doesn't look all exactly the same but you can tell that the bunches there there is a pattern there is a consistency in what i'm putting down on each page so then for the 14th and 15th i am now taking the green grid washi tape so i use the same washi tape with the two days and then using a circle and a deco sticker but then I decide to switch it up on the 15th and put down the beige uh, grid washi with the bloom and love washi. Gosh, that is a lot to say. And I'm trying to figure out where the best place is to place this quote. So I place it on the 14th and I really like the overall look, but I wanted to add a few more circles because I just want to finish all the stickers. <laughs> I think it's just so great to be able to have enough, but also not have too many stickers that it feels overwhelming to try and finish all of these. So... Again, I love how this all looks. Now it's done. So there are the spreads all decorated, ready for next week. I really love the small little clusters in there mixed in with more of a extended cluster at the bottom and just a mix of both here. I'm really excited to be able to use this for this week. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I decided it might be a good idea to actually try and do my to-do list the night before. This is something I tried to do this week and I normally try to do every day, but as you'll be able to see soon, it didn't really work out. It is 7.55 on a Monday evening and I am just getting to my planner. So I'll zoom in here. I've started using the yearly spread as a habit tracker and I'm going to do, I might do something different every month depending on how this goes, but for this month I, want to meditate every day, read at least 10 pages every day, have my nighttime routine, at least one serving of fruit every day, listen to my audiobook for at least 30 minutes, and also my multivitamin. And I'm using my Zig Clean Color Dots, which I got from Stationery Pal, to fill in the dots there. So that is my habit tracker. And then for today, I filled in my sleep score. I've also filled in that it's the kid's first day back at school. I've walked Lucy. And then there's other things that I need to do for the day. So let's flip to the daily journal. So I filled in my to-do list last night and I'm already looking through it and I'm not sure. <laughs> there's a few things I still haven't done. So I will full fill that in for tomorrow. So I'll go ahead then and start writing in my journal for today. And I really do like having the time at the end of the day to be able to fill this out. Normally, I take the time throughout the day, not just at the end of the day, to be able to fill in my journal. But again, when I'm filming this video, I normally save it to the end of the day rather than just spontaneously filling in my journal here and there. So I really do find time wherever I can in the day to fill out my journal. And then once that's done, then I go into my A6 five-year journal, and I love that I'm in the second year of this. For those who are just starting this out, 
it's so fun when you get to the second year to be able to see what you wrote in the first year. So I really, um, I really think you should stick with it. If you have, you know, if you're finding or not finding the motivation to stick with it, just even a couple of lines every day, you know, something funny that happens, something you're grateful for. And then when you actually start filling it in the second year, you'll realize, you know what, that practice that you've been working on for 365 days has paid off. I'm going to go ahead and write in my to-do list for tomorrow, just because as soon as I have my to-do list in, I don't have to wait really until the end of the day to put my to-do list into my planner. And then this way I have an expectation as to how I want tomorrow to go. It is 8.30 and I don't have all of the time that I would like to be able to journal in my cousin. So I'm just going to go ahead and journal in my A6 five year journal and then journal in my cousin tomorrow. It's now Wednesday and I'm just going in here updating my planner using my Laban Rosa in lilac and then I'm writing in my to-do list and catching up on yesterday. Yesterday was such a busy, busy day and I'm glad that I already wrote in my A6 five-year journal so I can actually just look back on that and then fill in what I need to for the day. As you can see, I'm using a different pen. I'm not using the Lamy All-Star because the ink was just driving me nuts. So I actually emptied it out and I already sold the pen. <laughs> so that happens very quickly. And then here I am writing in for today. Now the pen I am using is my Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in Angel Skin. And it has this amazing ink from Teranishi called Opera Rose. But basically the point is sometimes you just need a break. Tuesday was so busy and I felt like it would have stressed me out more to try and finish all the journaling. So I let myself have a bit of a reprieve. And here I am now filling out my a6 five-year journal and I love this thing. I love being able to look back at the previous year now that I'm in year two and here I am filling out the weather, one thing I'm grateful for, and just a quick synopsis of the day. I find this practice just so helpful and healing and so fun to look back on previous years. Happy Thursday and it's 8 30 in the evening on the Thursday and it's been quite the I guess up and down type of day. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my planner. I was a little bit sick this evening. I had a bit of a migraine in the afternoon so I took a bit of a nap so I am now just getting to journaling. Once I fill in my weekly planner, then I go into my daily spread, fill out my to-do lists, but then I also start journaling. And once I am done journaling in my daily spread, I don't fill out the whole thing on the same day because of the time that I do fill out my journal, some things haven't happened yet. So I don't fully finish the journaling spread until the next day. But also sometimes I do like to add photos and I don't normally add them until the end of the week. And I do add photos using my Canon selfie um, printer. Once I'm done that, then I will go into my five-year journal where I fill in the weather. And it's actually so cool to compare it to the weather this time last year. One thing I'm grateful for, but then also do a little quick synopsis of the day. Happy Friday, guys. So let's open up to my journal here. Here's my pen. And it's only four o'clock on a Friday and I am getting to my journal. Goodness gracious. So I'm going in here and writing in my to-do list and then I'm gonna go ahead and journal a bit, just a little bit about my day. I really love using this fountain pen. This is my Laban Rosa in Lilac and it has Colorverse Alpha PSC or Pisces in it. And for me, using a fountain pen when journaling just makes the experience so much better. It makes me want to journal because I want to use my fountain pens. 
And then once I'm done journaling in my cousin, then I go ahead and finish my, or start my journaling in my A6 five year journal where I put the weather, one thing I'm grateful for, and then just a quick synopsis of the day. I don't finish both of these right now. I know that there's still a bit of the day to go, so I do finish them. I will finish them tomorrow. And the pen that I'm using in my A6 five year journal is my new F3 pens in uh, this beautiful Moonlit Rodden with Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom. Happy Saturday, everybody. So here I am filling in my to-do list for the day. A lot of it already done, thank goodness. And then filling in my journal. I love this pen. The pen that I'm using is this Leonardo Memento Zero Grande in Angel Skin, and this ink combination is just fantastic. But today actually wasn't too bad of a day. Henry's no longer going to wall climbing on Saturday, so I ended up having a manicure. I went out with a friend of mine to buy a new pen, which I will showcase in a couple of weeks. And now here I am writing in my A6 five-year journal. So overall, a really, really lovely day. And I love being able to record it in my journal because I want to remember days like this, both good and bad. Happy Sunday, everybody. Getting into my planner here. Where's my pen? And I'm just gonna fill out my to-do list for the day. It is already uh, 4.52 in the afternoon and I'm now just getting to journaling today. It's been a busy day with Henry's two extracurricular activities now falling on the same day. Been out of the house for a good few hours and I even took a little nap when we got back because I was just tired from just being out. So here I am just catching up on some journaling and then what I'm gonna end up doing is basically look through the pictures that I have on my phone, see if there's any that I do wanna print out, and then I will uh, go ahead and print them off on my Canon selfie. So what I actually do with my pictures is I use the app PicStitch and create a collage so that I can actually size down the pictures because when you print on the Canon selfie, it prints it as a four by six picture. And I obviously don't have room for a four by six picture in my A5 Cousin. So using the Pick Stitch app, I create several collages so that I can get the pictures down to even as small as, you know, an inch wide. So here's all the photos. I like them in this smaller size because they do fit a little bit better in the spread and I don't have to reserve such a big space in my planner spread for them because I just want to write what I want to write. I don't want to have to be constrained by having to put a picture in. So some days it works out really well and other days not so much, but that's part of the process. So I then use my mono, my Tombow Mono Air Adhesive to just put a couple things on the back. This one went on the 9th because I sold that pen on the 9th. And then just putting pictures in where I remember to put them. <laughs> like some are teeny tiny like this one and I love how small this is. It's just a picture of me and Lucy with our matching coffees. <laughs> That's her coffee toy from my sister. And the pictures, again, don't need to be huge. So now what day did I finish reading my book? This is the thing as well. I also take a picture of the books that I finished reading, which was before this week. Uh, and then nothing on Wednesday, F nothing on Friday, but Saturday I got my nails done. Is it Saturday? Yeah, it was Saturday I got my nails done. And where am I gonna put them? I'm gonna put them down here. Sometimes when I put my pictures down, I don't normally have like a set place that I put them. I just want them there. And then Sunday is going to be a bit of a bigger day. It's going to be a few pictures to put down. Like there's the nachos my husband made, like the before and after picture. We were all starving and we inhaled his nachos. And then this was like the amount of cans and bottles that my husband took to the bottle depot. So I'll put that one down here. And just little things like pictures don't need to be of like some 
life-changing world event. It's pictures of like my manicure, Henry buying a new Squishmallow with his own money. He was so proud of that. I'm just placing these pictures wherever. So then let's do a quick flip through. Starting on Monday, I even have a picture of the pen that I sold just for, for me to remember that I did sell that pen. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I really like how the green looks with it actually. Friday, Saturday, and oh, no, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that is my daily journaling video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys enjoy journaling or is it something that you struggle with? If you have any questions, Anne, please let me know. I'd love to just discuss journaling with you guys. I, I love journaling. It's become um, a huge part of my life and I can't imagine not journaling. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.